Okay, so now you got a bunch of JPEG files in some directory somewhere, but you know, here, here it is. It's going. It's 556. Time. That's not only is it pretty quick, but it saves you a lot of time because of what you would have had to do manually. Okay, so now I got a bunch of TIFF files inside my, um, you know, my uh, Salem Salem Deeds Book One subdirectory, right? Okay, so let's go over there. And again, the same principle applies with this for the UK genealogy org, and that's probably maybe that's a good site to find other vital records uh, in and around Devon because Devon's really hard to find. Devon County is really hard to find. Now, um, let me see something. I'm looking at some of these tools that I had. Okay, there we go. Now, this was before I figured out how to do a while loop. This is now, okay, so now I got a whole bunch of um, files in my directory, but I still got to look through all those things to find the answer that I want. I mean, I, you know, I think the index is probably towards the end, and, you know, I'll look at it, but something with the, the Salem deeds, uh, they do have an index, but it's in pretty small writing and not really that optimal all the time. It's almost kind of hard to actually find what you're looking for. Okay. Now already right now you have it in electronic format. Ultimately you probably do want to have your, all your documents in electronic format because genealogy takes up a lot of space. And so that comes down to being able to um, write notes that will point you back to where um, where the where the document actually is, okay, uh, electronically. But before you get to the electronically, you're going to be able to look at these things and look at them in a reasonable, you know, reasonably easy, reasonably easy fashion. And you could either go into the directory and you could um, uh, look at all the files. So you can look at them online, but if you happen to be traveling or whatever, or you don't have access to the internet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, there's my 750 bits done fact it's saying all of these are not found so it actually didn't go that high oh my god so I didn't know from personal experience I 666 so it doesn't it's probably stopped at around 300 Ugh. okay I know the max for all of those are, are 750 on one of them okay so this is what I did um, at some point uh, when, before I knew how to do the while loop <clears throat> But I'm going to apply this to using the while loop. Uh, this is something I just have in my archives. This is script in my script scripting tools directory. And I'm using this is the command that I used at the time. And I, I think that cups will still take the LP command. But basically, I changed the directory where I had um, mounted my you know, my USB drive in, the, in that case, and the directory in which I placed the documents, and I u actually used the format, I used the would get minus r command, and would get minus r command will do a mirror of the website. I think that's a little bit too heavy. There may be other things in there that I, that you don't want, so um, that's why I did this script this way. So anyway, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this script now. Uh, this is basically, again, this is an automated uh, shell command, right? So, change directory to Salem Deeds. I'm just going to make sure I'm spelling that right. Compared to the way I actually created the file. Yes, I did. Okay, and in there I've got book one, the B's capitalized. Because uh, in Linux, capitalization matters. So I'm going to change directories and then I'm going to go, then I'm just going to print those files. But for now, and since I'm going to use the while loop anyway, uh, I'm going to change this. And, and I also have to, okay, this is what this uh, printing command is from the command line. It says LPD means print, LP means print, the destination being at the time I had a printer. Uh, that used the descriptor Conica, right? But right now, let's see if I wanted to print something. I'm using the descriptor LP. Yes, I'm catching that. So uh, I'm going to change my script here, probably to have a LP minus D 
destination being the printer that is called LP. And um, you might want to at first see if when you print it out whether it prints out the size you want it to be. If you need it to be 75% of the size that it print, you know, when I first printed out these um, deeds, the first time I ever did it, I found out that if I printed it at 100% scaling, it just it would take up more than the space on the page allowed. So I scaled it down to 75%. There is the 01. Now what I could do is from my um, thing here, I'm just going to copy over this syntax here. Actually, And I'm going to edit this printing page. And I'm probably going to rename it to Print Deeds. Okay, in this case, I don't need the page variable. I don't need the book variable. I already know all this stuff. So down here, all I'm looking for is the file name. And actually, it's going to be dollar page. get to see me screw this up royally. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm actually creating the meat, or the, the midsection of this here. Uh, book doesn't matter, so I don't need that. Page does matter. Am I even getting this? Okay. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just moving stuff around, right? So, um, first nine pages will be printed as a result of this while loop. The next 90, uh, 89 pages will be because of this one. Or 90 pages, maybe. I don't know. I don't do math. I don't do logic. <laughs> and then here I'll do this. Now, I actually don't want to print out all those. So what I'm going to do is, in this case, is I want to print one page just to show you the damn thing to work. I'm going to comment these lines out. So you put a pound to the left of a shell script or most things in Linux, what will happen is they'll say, hey, ignore this line. Why am I printing all these things out? So I could actually look at them, and it's a lot easier just to glance over pages then to tediously click and look through all the different documents with whatever the tip viewer is. That's just my opinion. That's my style. I'm sticking with it. Okay, so as while well, page is less than, let's say, five, I'll do the first five pages. So the page variable is zero. And I'm going to actually save this as into my home directory. Call this thing print deeds. Okay, so I'll close both of these. Now let's see, cancel that. Hopefully the syntax for cups hasn't changed, otherwise I'll have something else to complain about, won't I? And I don't need this web page, so why am I there? Why is that open? I don't know. Let's go over here to applications. No. Yes. <laughs> Terminal. Close the scripting tools page. 
Yeah, what I'm going to do is... I think, it's, I think I called it print. Yeah. Print. Okay, what the hell did I call that thing? Places, home folder. And the bottom. Date modified, sort by date modified. And it's print these. Oh, did I said executable? No, I did not. That's why I didn't show up. PR. Print deeds. SH. Bam. LP error. No such file directory. Uh, what's the deal? No such file or directory. Oh. I did. I forgot to put my home directory in that script. Hopefully I haven't gone over 15 minutes yet. I don't have a Salem deeds in my root directory. I am just going to... I could put dollar home, but I'm done. So I'll do it this way. I like being exact. Say, okay, let's try this sucker one more time. Ooh, Crest ID is LP 294 Let's go get that sucker or suckers or whatever they are. Hopefully, it's working actually. Hopefully, my conca didn't go berserk. I'm going to save this, close this, and I'll stop because I'm going to go get the thing.